the electric field lines always start from a positively charged body. Now, if there is a positively charged body and it will terminate at the negatively charged body, the line start from this point and terminate at this point because the charges are on the surface. So, this is the line. I make it another way. That is from the center this point and it goes like this. From the center this point radius goes like this and this is the curve. Now this curve is correct or this curve is correct. The rule says that when the line start from the surface, here is the surface, here is the line and this angle is right angle. And it should be the right angle always. When it terminates, this is the surface, this is the line and this is the right angle. So, this line is correct representation and this line is wrong representation. Why? This angle is an acute angle, not 90. So, whenever the line start from a surface and terminate at a surface, then... Uh, they should make a right angle to each other. Sometimes we are asked why they should make a right angle. How could you conclude that it should be a right angle? The answer is yes, the brilliant students out of you would naturally would like to know it. If this is electric field, it always start from a charge. There must be a point charge here, point charge here point charge here on the surface everywhere this line has started from here if I place a test charge here just on the surface then this is here it is neither going this way nor it is going this way even I can see for this charge it is neither going in this direction nor it is going in this direction means there is no force in this or in this direction that is why it is not going, otherwise it could have gone. Now, this is force on it because this is direction of electric field. Suppose we say the electric field is in this direction. Let us suppose electric field is not normal. It is making certain angle theta with surface tangent. If it makes theta, then this electric field or the force QE can be derived into different directions and the force in this direction will be QE cos theta and in this direction QE sin theta. Now the force is applicable on this charge and we are seeing that this charge is not moving in this direction. This charge has no any other force. There is only one force QE sin theta but it is not moving. If it is not moving the conclusion we make is QE, sin th QE cos theta is zero. Otherwise if it has any magnitude the charge should move. Okay here this is the charge if this is the electric field, then force is in this direction, then with the tangent this is theta, its component in this direction is QE cos theta and because of this component it should move in this direction, there is no opposite force. So what I see, this is not moving, this is not moving, no charge is moving, that means everywhere QE cos theta is equal to zero. Now in this Q is not 0, E is not 0. So what does mathematics say? If Q is not 0, E is not 0, then how this 0 has come? This 0 has come because cos theta is equal to 0. Now if cos theta is equal to 0 by trigonometry, we know how much should be theta? 90 degree. So this theta, what is its value? 90 degree this much. And this is actual direction of electric field. This is a very small proof to show that electric field line is always at right angle to the surface from where it starts, where it ends.
okay so this you can note down as a proof how you will start if e is not perpendicular then let it make angle theta with surface then force is not moving therefore therefore ye this therefore q e cos theta is equal to 0 this 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 theta is equal to 90 degree therefore e is always at right angle to surface so starting and terminating angle is always right angle in the next lecture we will see a very peculiar property of this that uh, these lines act like a stretched string once you stretch a rubber it always have a tendency to come down and with that what are the properties we see that is very interesting and that we'll do in the next lecture